I'm not preaching. God doesn't want me to preach. Thank you. Just the first one, First Kings 18. Just one thing we're going to do. Don't sit, don't worry. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up. Eat and drink. I love eat and drink. I don't know about you. If you've been presented, would I be presented the past few days? You love to eat and drink. You know, when Eli was finished with Anna, what did the Bible say? And she went to eat and drink. Eat and drink is end of discussion. Until you are able to go and eat and drink. Case is not closed yet. Now, what has happened before now? Listen carefully. Don't be distracted. What has happened before now? There, there was a siege over Israel. Jay-Z. That's Jezebel. <laughs> Jay-Z brought false prophets. Worship of other gods to Israel. Everybody left Jehovah. They went after these false prophets. Suddenly, Elisha showed up on the scene and said, There will be no rain for three and a half years, except by my word. When God does such things just to make people come back to their senses, it brings a famine. When it was obvious these guys were not ready to change, Elijah now said, let's settle this case once and for all. Let's go to Mount Campbell. Bring all the prophets of Baal and let them come here. And tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ who sent me here, we challenge every situation in your life. Tonight, we are going to know who is God. Whether it is that situation or Jehovah. And he says, let's go. Whichever God brings down fire from heaven, we are going to serve him. So Elijah said, you guys go first. Do you know, man, it's a risky thing for them to go first. Because if fire had already had descended, Elijah can't do anything again. But he knew that apart from Jehovah, there's no other God. Y'all yeah. listening to me. I mean, apart from God, our God, there is no other God. Hear ye, O Israel. The Lord your God is one God. He knew that all other gods are the works of men. Figments of men's imagination. The evidence of their stupidity. Tell your neighbor it's a lie. 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 That sickness in your body is a lie. Jesus says I'm the way the truth outside of Jesus everything is a let God be true Romans 3 4 let God be true and every man that sickness is a liar whatever wants to scatter your home I declare that thing a liar they gathered I love such scenarios. I had one episode like that when I was in the university. I love, brethren, when you know that there's no other God, you, 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 feel ten, you, feel, you feel 10 feet tall. People think you are cocky. You know, it's not cockiness. You see, when you know that, you know that you know that there's no other God. I'm not saying God is greater than them. No, there is no Songwriter says, All other gods, they are the works. You are only God. There is. So, Elijah, Elijah, when they, when they started, I'm sure the man of God sat down. So, when they are finished, they will call me because he knew there was no fire. 
caught themselves, did everything. Eventually, man of God got up, called fire from heaven. God answered. He made sure that the situation was complicated. Pour water, make it difficult. Because the fire that will come, you see, you don't have to prove God. No, just stand in the position. God doesn't need man to prove him. Uh -uh. He, has been, he doesn't need anybody to be God. That's why he should not be proven. Hallelujah. So God is not out to prove himself in your life tonight. God is out to give you your inheritance. You are his child. It belongs to you. So it destroyed the, the prophets of Baal. Now it's time for rain. Time for rain to show up. Brethren, rain did not want to show up. So he now said, it's time to make rain. It's time for the Lord to bring solution, help. Then he says, I hear. No, you notice he didn't say I see rain. Because in the spirit, you navigate with your ears, not your eyes. People think seeing is better than hearing. No. Because the things you can see, sometimes they come in dark sayings. Parables that you cannot decipher. Signs and forms. But brethren, words are words. I guess what? Faith does not come by seeing. It comes by hearing. hearing. Do you know what God was? God was sending, telling to A up there. Rain has not come, but I already hear the sound. Because I hear, not because I have seen. Go and celebrate. Brother, you must know how to celebrate the promise, not the performance. Celebrate the promise, not the And all we're going to do tonight, celebrate the promise. John 20, 29, Jesus said to, Peter, to Thomas, Thomas, because you have seen my hands and the prince, so you believe? He says, blessed are those who have not seen and yet Why are we a people giving to everybody that has seen can dance? What should mark you out? Should be the fact that I've not seen, but I, I believe. I celebrate. I dance. After then he put his head under when Elijah Elisha because he sent a servant Elisha Elijah rather sent a servant to tell, tell Ahab celebrate the promise not the performance number one key to receiving the builder's anointing you must learn to celebrate the promise not the performance if God had given you a word dance no see I don't even stop at dancing I I tell people I tell people sometimes even the one God has not told me I tell people oh yeah I implicate my father because the devil is always quick to tell you when wrong things are about to happen the sons of the prophets came to Elisha do you know that God is going to take your master from you today three times but they didn't know that the mantle was going to fall See, they, they are declaring what they know. Why don't you declare what you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lady was sharing the testimony. She, she was spotted. That's in the church, the last church I went to in Edmonton. She, she's lost some pregnancies. Then again, this time she was pregnant again. Then she began to spot every day for three months. And the doctor said, it's gone the other way again. She said, no. 
For, see, before other times she will keep quiet. This time she said no. She said no. She says the Bible tells me I will not cast my young. This is my young. This one is not going anywhere. I saw the girl. They carried the girl. But you see, if she had sat down there, and that's it. Celebrate the promise. Not. So why are you going to dance tonight? Second Corinthians 1 and verse number 20. It says, for every promise in him is yea. And in him? Amen. Amen. By two immutable things for which it is impossible for God to lie. Hebrews 6, 8. But when when Gehazi the servant went to tell Ahab go and celebrate the promise not the performance where did Elijah, Elijah go? He went to Mount Carmel he went back put it up on the screen same text 2 Kings so, so Ahab do you now see why there was rain? Ahab did not say, why should I go and eat when there's no water? When there's no rain, no sign. Ahab, are you listening to me? Ahab did not say, hey, man of God said there will be no rain. So he was looking out for the sign. He that observed the wind will not show. Awesome. Looking out for the sign. See, try to see something physically. Brethren, we will navigate with our ears in the spirit, not our eyes. Ahab just went to eat and drink. Follow instruction tonight. He just went to celebrate. But the Bible says, and Elijah went up to the top of where? Carmel. Number two point. Where, on which mountain did he destroy the prophets of Baal? On Mount Carmel. Always know how to return to familiar ground. Familiar ground simply means what you are believing God for is not the first thing God has done for you. There's something he's done before. Go and remind the Lord. Say, Lord, you that followed me to the embassy, the day I went for my interview, I made sure I got visa. Tell him the date. Remember the date you got it. And say, Father, it is the same you. He didn't go to another mountain. He went to the same place where he had a testimony. Same place where he had gotten victory before. As as you are celebrating the promise tonight, remind God, God, Lord, remember so so and so. Remember so so and so. Return to family ground. Remind God. When the children of Israel want to provoke God, I can imagine if I was a child of Israel and I'm in a situation. Say, Lord. We were told that while you delivered your people, the Red Sea parted. No man did anything. You blew a wind. God, you brought them through the wilderness. Forty years, their shoe did not wash old. Their garments did not tear. Father, is it a meal that you cannot provide for me? If you supply for a whole nation for 40 years, what is this matter to you? Have you changed? Oh, you don't change. The Bible says you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Return to familiar ground. Finally, he now put his head between his knees and began to pray. He prayed so fervently. Now, this prayer wasn't a regular prayer. Pray tonight with expectation. While he was praying, he told somebody to go and check. This is not the one we are going to wait for. I expect immediate response from heaven. Go check. Oh, go check. This time you pray with what? Expectation. The moment... He did that. Bible says the clouds gathered. 
the seventh time of the visit. Go and look towards the sea. You see, he went first time. He said, go seven times. Went the seventh time. He said, I see a cloud. It's like the small cloud, like the hand of a man. Theologian says, God went into the sea to pack water <laughs> with his hand and take it to the atmosphere for it to rain. Ladies and gentlemen, natural laws will be suspended. That's what you call a miracle. Some years ago, I was in the Baltimore area preaching for a particular man of God, an African-American church. Brethren, it was a prophetic conference. In the middle of the sermon, the Lord told me to go bring out a lady way back. So I walked down the aisle. He pointed her out, out to me. And I went to pick her. Now, obviously, I, that was all I knew. Just go meet her, pick her, bring her forward. While I was coming with her, back to the front, then he began to speak to me. So he said to tell her, in this conference, in the time of the fullness of your life, next year in this conference, you carry a son. This is the name of the boy. The whole church went quiet. Usually such announcement is made by fun fair. The whole church went quiet. Do you know why? This woman, she's of age. I didn't know all this other detail. She, she and her husband, they've been trusting God for a while. She had this cyst that wasn't malignant and they were trying to keep it because if they remove it, they will have to take out our womb. But now it suddenly went malignant and they did the surgery two Thursdays before that conference. Two Thursdays before that conference. They removed her womb, removed everything. She can't give birth ever again. She and her husband came forward on Thursday Bible study two weeks before then to give thanks to God that though her womb is gone, but she thanked the Lord that she's alive. Now, if she it is you and I, what we'd rather do is, rather than coming to give thanks for life, we'll keep complaining to God about the fact that why? God, why me? But you don't know that it's possible. A lot of people go on that bed, that surgical bed, and don't come out. But they came to celebrate. It was a huge celebration. They celebrated, I told you, when you operate in Thanksgiving, dew comes from above. Two Thursdays after, after they did their Thanksgiving, Jehovah Almighty, who made sure that I, he knew if he, he brought somebody who didn't know anything going on with her. Because if I knew it, I'll ask God, God, are you sure? <laughs> I would ask him. <laughs> but I didn't know anything. So she came forward. And brethren, that was the end of service. I suddenly saw the bishop was crying. Most people in church were crying. And you know, African Americans, they cannot cry a lot. So, but when the bishop started crying, I got concerned. So I went meeting him. I said, Sir, what's going on? He was now the one that told me that her womb had been taken out. Some few years later, I was in the Baltimore area. About six, seven, eight years, I can't remember. They brought one young, handsome boy. And guess what? <laughs> I love you. Yeah, looking like I'm talking of Jesus, who who created. Hey, the boy. At the time I saw him, the boy is a genius. From how he was going, the tangentry of his his academics, he will be in the university at age twelve. The doctor, their doctor became born again. Brethren, you see the power of thanksgiving. So when it's time to celebrate, forget issues tonight. I can't do that for you. No. Engage God yourself. Then the hand of God rested on him. Elijah went forward. 
Ahab went on his chariot to run. Elijah, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord, verse 46. Verse 46. Thank you, sir. And the hand of the Lord. So I'll say the hand of the Lord. Come on, say it louder. The hand of the Lord. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he girded his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. The hand of the Lord will rest on you tonight. Amen. Do you know what happened here? On common speed, he ran faster than a man riding on a chariot. Don't worry, it seems as though things are slow. Wait till after tonight. When God's hand, when God's hand hits your life, you will know what they call speed. The hand of the Lord will make sure that anything you start, you finish. Ezra 7 9. And the first day of the first month, I, Ezra, left to go to Jerusalem. And we arrived in Jerusalem. Ezra 7 9. Put that for me, please. All of the gods. Ezra 7 9. We are the works of man. Hey, you are the only God. Ezra 7 9. All of the God. On the first day of the first month, he began his journey from Babylon, Ezra. And on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem. According to the good hand of God. Somebody say, I receive the hand of God tonight. Not only will the hand of God grant you speed, the hand of God will make sure every project you have started. I can't remember which church now. Been to a many. Been to a few. I met one man who had been building a bungalow for 11 years. A bungalow. Not a 20 bedroom bungalow. I'm talking of a 4 bedroom bungalow. For 11 years. <laughs> oh Lord our God. Hey. We are the works of mankind. You are the only. There is none like you. <laughs> Global Harvest Church, Ibadan, Victor Adeyemi's church. At that time, they were building. I remember I said, sir, this was me. This was not God. I said, can we agree? You are going to finish this. I'm angry with the fact that you have to wait for 11 years to finish a bungalow. So we are going to finish. This thing will finish in six weeks. You are going to give that to God. Don't go, don't use it. I said, do you trust me, sir? He said, please, I will take responsibility for this one. Give it to God. So he did. <laughs> don't mess with Jesus. I was in the battle to speak for my wife in a conference about two years later. I was sharing their testimony because their pastor later got to me that they built a duplex. Huh? They built a duplex within one year. Immediately after they dropped that, the bungalow gave it to God, they built a duplex. And the guy now builds houses and sells. And he has, he has hit good money. I was sharing that testimony in a women's conference, my wife's women's conference. I didn't know his, I, I, I can't remember them, it's been two years. His wife was there, the wife of the man. Because it was he and his wife that came out together. I was just preaching, somebody came out. I was, I was, I was taking her back. Why are you coming out while I'm preaching? He said, I'm the wife. She took over the microphone. Do you, let me explain this, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus, son of the living God, cannot lie. Whatever you have started, a career, 
Some of you have abandoned school because of finances. It's coming alive again. Your exams, you failed. You are going to go back, you pass. Ezra, 818, please. Oh, Lord of God. Hey, they are the works of mankind. You are the only God. Ezra 8, 18. Ezra 8, 18. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. There is none like you. And by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man. When God's hand, this hand we are talking about tonight. Tonight is all about God's hand. Resting on you. Resting on your situation. Resting on your matter. It will grant you accelerated help. It will make sure that whatever you start is completed. Then it will always, the Bible says, because of the hand of God, a man of understanding. There are some people you need, midwives, to help you back your vision. God will connect you to them. That's what the hand of God does. That's what his hand does. The next scripture. Marat, the next scripture. All the gods, they they are the works of man. And Ashbaya, oh no, not the next one. I mean, okay, give me Nehemiah 2.8. Nehemiah 2.8. All other gods, they are the works of men. Are you singing? You are the only God. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertained to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according (laughs) when the hand of God rests upon you God will make sure what you need will begin to need you you will go before people to ask for favors they will not they can't refuse you why the good hand somebody say I receive the hand of the Lord finally Nehemiah 2 18 Nehemiah 2.18 Oh, oh, there God. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me. Someone say, I received the good hand of the Lord. As also the king's words that he has spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands so this good work when the hand of the Lord is upon you ladies and gentlemen it will be easy for others to follow you every support you need what God's hand does is this people that are discouraged when God's hand hits them they suddenly become strong some enthusiasm, energy, belief, faith come from somewhere a man a woman, her husband left 11 years. Each time she prayed, she wanted to move on. God says no. The man went ahead and remarried. I'm the one that have oversight of that ministry. It's a women's intercessory ministry. We were in a retreat. Suddenly I felt a kick in my spirit. I called her forward. I said, Ma, we are going to dance. We are eating and drinking. We are celebrating. So as from this moment, pack your things. Your husband is coming. He said, sir, he's been away 11 years. It's not my business. I'm telling you what God is saying. Your husband is coming. And he's taking you away. That week, the story that got to me was that, that the next day, that evening, that night, the night of that very day we had the retreat. The husband, this is what he said. 
He said, Jesus appeared to him and said, why are you living with a concubine? I have great things to do with you. Go back to your wife. He woke up. Explain. You know when Jesus is at work, the woman, I just been feeling that she shouldn't be here too. The other wife. I've been feeling that she shouldn't be here. So when he woke up to explain to her, he said there's no need to explain. She packed her things. Just said, please, the kids. So don't worry. The kids are taken care of forever. You are free to go and marry another person. But the kids are secured. That week, he first of all went to the parents of his first wife to go and beg. He went with his own people. His people are asking him, are you mad? 11 years. He didn't listen to anybody. See, when Jesus speaks, and you know it is Jesus that has spoken, brethren, it, that word can't fall to the ground. The man went, they, they, at the end of the day, they came to pack, take my sister. 11 years. If a fly perches on that lady now, the man will kill the fly and kill the person that sent the fly. That's how precious the woman had become. Because of the hand of God that was on us. I shared a testimony of the hand of God upon me. Everyone that was weak suddenly received strength to do the work. Then finally, Ezekiel 1.3 and Ezekiel 8.1. Ezekiel 1.3 and Ezekiel 8.1. Messiah is the King of Kings. Messiah is the Lord of Lord. And the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Kiba. And the hand was there upon you. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, there will be a word for you. There will be a word. God will whisper something to your spirit. It was, you can't leave God's presence when His hand is upon you without a word. Someone say, I receive the hand of the Lord tonight. Ezekiel 8 1, last scripture. And I'm going to set you loose. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, hey. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ateno geta. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. And he came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in the house, in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord fell there upon me. Do you know what the hand of the Lord does? 
anywhere you go it stands you out you are no longer going to be a member of the crowd stands you out same places where they have told people and rejected them they will tell you to come have you ever been to a place they said application are closed but when you got there somebody just looked at you and said you know what for you I will make an exception somebody here for you some place somewhere somebody's going to make an exception amen but here this is where I can get you to what happens from here is all you I can't celebrate your promise for you I can't pray with expectation for you but we are going to start out by first of all just thanking the Lord when I don't know if you realize this the greatest achievement a human being can attain on earth is to know Jesus greatest achievement on earth greatest achievement on earth to know Jesus to be saved greatest achievement on earth we are going to thank the Lord and give praise to his name Nobody's going to lead you choir. Nobody sings. Just get busy. Everyone get busy. Seriously. I mean, get busy. When you're done giving thanks, are you listening? When you're done giving thanks, I don't know what promise God gave you. You're going to start celebrating in your way. Usher, don't disturb anybody. In fact, Usher too should be busy. All right? Leave everybody out. Okay? You want to jump, jump. You want to dance, dance. You want to run, run. Whatever you feel, want to do, it's your business. Just do it. Your own way of celebrating your promise, just do it. Then begin to remind God. Ah, God, you are the one that gave me this job. You are the one that showed up for me on so-so and so-day when things were difficult. You are the one I called upon when my son was misbehaving and you set him out you are the one that showed up when the doctor said so so and so and you turned the situation remind go back to familiar grounds remind him of his works in your own life don't see don't share someone else's testimony you don't know if they exaggerated or embellished their testimony your own Then when you are done with that, make your request known to God. Then we'll do whatever He wants us to do. But I can bet you, ladies and gentlemen, if there are chains, while you are doing that, those chains will have been broken. I can't hear your amen. amen. Every chain will be broken. No one is living here in chains. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, no one is living here in chains. I'm expecting some of your doctors to ask you what happened. Come on, stand to your feet and let's just bless his name. You want to be grateful first of all thank you before you start giving him praise and celebrating your path your your promise make room for yourself just find some space express yourself forget every other person in this auditorium leave there's just you and jesus right here now shut out every other person and every other being Give him praise for thank him for his kindness, 
Thank you for the salvation of your soul. Thank you for he having you in his family. Come on, give him praise. Be grateful to God. Be grateful to him. Bless his name. This is you and God now. Don't wait on me. I'm just trying to help you. Tell you what he wants us to do. Just thank him. Thank him. Just thank him. Give him all glory and all honor. He that told the Lord has helped you, Ebenezer. Oh, that men will give praise to God for his goodness. His wonderful works to the children of men. He who had broken the gates of brass, turned the bars of iron asunder. For how are the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The king of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against the Lord, against the anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder. But the Lord will hold them in derision. He who sits in heaven will laugh at them in his sore displeasure. For blessed is the man that standing not in the way of the ungodly, not sitting in the way of sinners, not standing in the way of sinners, not sitting in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is the love of the Lord, and his Lord does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaves will not wither, his fruit will come and in season. Whatever he doeth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. They are like the shaft driven by the wind. So the ungodly will not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord knoweth the ways of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. 